Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and as you can see, we've got our four Romanian Air Force kits in front of us again, uh, which took part in our second episode of You Choose My Next Build, where I asked you guys to kindly contribute to the decision-making process as to which kit I was going to build next. Uh, we have the scores in as the voting closed at midnight last night, and very kindly of 46 of you uh, took the time to take part in our little kit building experiment. And the scores are as follows. In fourth place came our AZ model AZ, AZ7671 Messerschmitt BF109E3A in Romanian service, which is rather nicely painted up in green and yellow. In second place are... Ez Ezra from PZL 24 B stroke E over the Danube, which came in with five votes. Our Heinkel by RS Models 112B, kit number 92265, came in third place with seven votes, which is a bit of a shame as this is kind of rather nice, sleek looking aircraft. And galloping away we are by several furlongs was the IAR. 80 early gathering storm 1941 by IBG models which is kit number 72564 so this is going to be the one we're going to be building hooray for the Romanians um what I'm going to do with this particular kit and how I'm going to actually plan to build it as those of you that looked at the um what's in the box videos that I did for this this particular kit has rather a complicated uh, cockpit setup, which as you can see here is very nicely detailed. It's like a whole section that actually goes into the um, fuselage of the kit. So I'm going to be um, concentrating on that this evening, I think, because obviously there's a bit of work that needs doing here and painting. So as we can see by the instructions, we've got the uh, cockpit floor, we've got these side um, frames, with some oxygen tanks to go on we've got this here which i'm not quite sure what that is we've got the floor with some pedals to go on we've got a whole range of levers and knobs put in we've also got a load of photo etch parts which is something that i've never tried before and is kind of making me a little bit nervous i might add we then move on to this section section four where we put multiple sections together putting our um cockpit display in I think this is part of the um, gun sight here, which is photo etch. And then we get some nice photo etch harnesses to put in as well, which all ends up kind of looking like this, which is far, far different to anything that I'm used to. And it's been causing me a couple of sleepless nights as uh, the past few days when the voting was coming in. So all these parts obviously mostly come off this sprue here, which is B2. I'm not really going to point any of them out in particular order to you, but there are multiple parts on here. On this section, we have our console display just here. This one being um, sprue F. And we get our floor and this section with where the seat goes off uh, sprue B1. And then obviously we get our photo etch pieces, which we're going to have to uh, struggle with and try and get those on as well. Oops. So that's what we're going to be doing this evening. Um, I'm going to say uh, Norosh, cheers in Romanian, because I'm going to need something to fortify myself, I think, with this particular build. Um, we've got, as you may know, we're going to be painting this up as per our Romanian Aces World War II Osprey aircraft of the Aces, number 54. And we're going to be painting up as this one here, White 86, of Loco Tenant Aviator, Flying Officer, Ion Michu, of the Escuadrilla 41 Vanatore, Group L8 Vanatore, Southern Bessarabia. Uh, this was in July 1941, so that's hopefully we're going to end up with something like that. Um, I have actually started experimenting with doing um, kit comparison reviews where I kind of loosely compare a couple of kits that are the, the same or similar aircraft. Um, that I actually have in my stash. So if you do decide to sort of follow uh, what I'm building to some degree, it gives you a sort of indication of which kits you know I have and which kits you may want to buy. Um, I 
do actually have this uh, Sova M SVM72012 IAR81C, which is a dive bomber variant that was developed later. Uh, this is actually a reboxing of an A model kit. So I'm gonna put these two kits together and just basically put the sprues side by side with them so you can see which of these two kits is nicer. Um, obviously, depending on your skill level and what you want, I mean, this one doesn't actually come with quite so heavily a detailed cockpit. So if you want a Romanian IAR, IAR, this might be the one to go for. So we'll be doing one of those videos at some point over the next four or five days, but I'll be doing that putting that together now and um, we will be moving on to our Swedish aircraft next week so there'll be a raft of what's in the boxes coming shortly for our next selection which will be four Swedish aircraft that I'll just put down and explain those ones to you and that's about all I have to say for right now so thanks for watching and please do have a look at some of our other videos and I will probably be putting a full build video up for the cockpit section, depending on how well it goes, because if I make a bit of a cock up of it, I might just decide to save my embarrassment. So hopefully it will go OK and hopefully there'll be a video of that up coming soon. So thanks for watching and be seeing you.